Potter's Journal, March 2019. Always glad to find someone new interested in my pottery, my 101 jug series. Um, this guy was great until he discovered Grandma's Canadian Mist. And now I can't get rid of him. But you know, he did like those jugs. I got a kiln load and it's not quite cooled off. Hey, Frosty, let's see what's going, what's in the kiln today. I am not used to working this way. I'm used to like with the pie plates back here doing, a, you know, at least a dozen of the same thing. Um, syrup jugs, I want uh, them all to be a little bit different. Um, I saw some with lug, or I mean uh, coil handles look like almost completely round, like, um, on a uh, glass jug bottle. Um, hmm. I think they maybe were done in molds and that's why I'm not very happy with mine. Um, I'm using two clays here. I haven't done any of the um, slipware or Pennsylvania Blue Cobalt stuff yet in on the um, Crocs or on the jug series. Um, I didn't care for it here on the hazelnut clay. It shows through a little bit pink and the glaze looked a little bit better on the spec. So I do have a little bit of it. Working with two clays at the same time doesn't quite work. I um, had to finish these up first and mix up a little bit of slip. Syrup jugs too. Sometimes a little spout and not really much of a spout but um, just something in there to direct the pour and also um, yeah not um, overly large but so that you can get a cork in it too and it um, and the spout um, is still there so syrup jugs completely different than some other jugs often with the straight sides shorter stouter um, I've got the ones here with the clay from standard and I'm stamping these Pennsylvania so um, let's see oh and this one here is going to be like I did on the donut um, flask jugs with the little lugs and the holes poked through them um, let's see after the um, hole is in there and it dries up a bit I then come in with a fettling knife and round it off a bit and hmm, I may make this smaller yet too and kind of follow the contour of the hole in the middle and round that off um, these, uh, I guess, uh, I think I've seen um, images of um, string or um, uh, leather strap through there and the jugs hanging. So the lugs after put on, just um, time consuming and patience taking rounding it off. Okay, you know, I, don't, I like that a lot better now. Um, once we got the hole in it and made it a little bit smaller. Uh, but this will have to stiffen up yet before I can come in and do the inside. And you know what? I was going to put uh, Stamp Pennsylvania, so... Um, okay, so these are not Vermont syrup jugs or New York, but Pennsylvania syrup jugs. And I can just get in here to support the inside um, of the stamp. Apparently there's Ohio maple syrup too. But, um, hmm, I think the terroir in uh, Vermont and Pennsylvania and New York are best for it. Okay. And I've been researching syrup jugs all different shapes and form. Some have much better pouring spouts like on this one here. Um, let's 
see. And um, some, you know, almost um, pitcher, uh, pitcher like with the spouts. So, um, the same way you do any spout, uh, pull it out. Um, the spouts, though, also on the syrup jugs, I noticed very small and narrow um, so that uh, you get a small narrow pour and not a big pour but a thin stream okay and this one is on a flared lip um, once again so that the cork or a stopper can hold the inside Okay, yeah. And then I'm going to push the sides back up to make it a little bit more narrow. And then it's coming straight out, um, not pouring down, but um, straight out. Okay, so yeah, narrow to make a thin stream. Okay, and I've been hmm, constantly picking up and seeing since I sketched these all out from um, syrup jugs I've seen. The ones, let's see, with the spout like that often seem to, where will the handle fit on this one? That's been a problem with each of these. It's so much easier to um, work with and where's my clay? I think I'll be back. Okay, it is so much easier to make a whole board the same thing. Work out a design and then go with it and maybe make changes along the way. Yeah, I uh, liked on the bigger jugs I did them coming right off and out like that. But, um, hmm, when I did experiment with one coming off the side, um, I didn't care for it and didn't repeat the pattern. But in the end, decided I didn't mind that either. So, I've been... Um, just And, you know, some of these... Um, jugs do have a um, handle like I would never do so that actually doesn't look bad and it could come off of here too so I'm not quite sure which way I could go either way on that I think maybe we'll try this one down here like this um, a little bit thicker and heavier though So it's pretty warm in here today. Um, the kiln still is too hot even for me to get near it. But, um, I think it'll be cooled down a little later so that uh, we can all get a look. put the raised ridge down the center of this and I'm used to pushing my handle straight into the side of the pot it's not um, just get some slip I recycle um, paper plates center where that should be. And okay, the same way the smear goes on the bottom to attach a handle. Okay, 
straight down and then to both sides. So, yeah, a precious product, maple syrup, I guess. Um, little bits of it boiled down from huge bits. So this would be... I'm si I've only looked at images of these things. <laughs> this would be a functional object at one point in time in history that... Um, it's got a pouring spout, it's got an opening for a cork and a stopper, it's got a handle, and it can be you it's both a storage container and a serving container. So I am just figuring that out. <laughs> Since the ones today are plastic and do pretty much the same thing. A lot of the images I looked at though almost seem to be oh, tourist souvenirs, but I guess they were um, from, yeah, the 40s or earlier to today. And they were both that and sold, I guess, with syrup inside. Okay, so not something I'd thought about before. Another one here to have the spout. Okay, and some of the syrup jugs, I don't know were maple syrup necessarily, but um, soda pop syrup. Um, some of the images I looked at still had labels on, mostly that said log cabin or pure uh, maple syrup, but there were some that said lime or coke. And I make my own um, like cherry lemonade from a cherry syrup that's either from Greece or Turkey. narrow that down to make a fine stream. Okay, I'm not used to working this small. A pitcher a pitcher jug is a lot bigger. Okay, so we might just repeat the pattern we used on that one with the handle. Yeah. Potters always given a rough time about how their spouts pour. And I think we try to make spouts that pour. Um, here's an idea too for the pouring lip on these things. I saw one that just had a little slot cut in there to direct the pouring. Um, however, yeah, <laughs> these things don't do anything. It's got a spout on there. These things do absolutely nothing to help pour the syrup. And that is the industry standard, pretty much, that jug. They put every state on the side of it there is that makes the syrup. Okay, so let's see. Flip that.
Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. This took um sat here for a week covered tightly before I had the courage to do this. Um but like anything it's just a matter of sitting down and taking it one step at a time. Okay, that one's different. On this one we are going to reach inside because the stamp did push in the side of the pot a bit. So we're going to take this and push it back out and get the surface level. Stop back for the wire handle and lugs attached and doing the spouts. Um, for now, that kiln's cooled down just enough to unload. It's still very, very warm. Let's see if we can get some jugs into the hands of the maple syrup industry. Okay, another nice kiln load. What do you think, Frosty? Oh, no. No. Oh, what a mess. What a mess. Oh, Frosty. It didn't do Grandma much good either. Frosty. Oh, Frosty. <laughs> Your brain on drugs, Frosty. It's down the drain. And another, I thought, good client.